fear, endorphins, uh, you're feeling high, and but you keep stick to the plan, stick to the plan. As you're pushing through that door, exiting the bank, uh, the fresh air hits you. My adrenaline is just pumping and put the money in my messenger bag and start rolling away. We all felt pretty special. That's a cool thing to do, you know, when to get recognition as a kid. I could see the others in front of me, how they, how much effort they were putting in and they were not making it. And I thought, if they're not making it, how am I supposed to make it? There's the reality of you have to put in an extraordinary amount of work. And I was coming of age in my early 20s and I just wasn't feeling that anymore. I felt kind of dead inside. I felt like I wanted to do something extraordinary. I walk the amount of steps, which I've already counted out and timed to the bank. I produce my note. I produce my bag. She filled it with money. And I said, thank you. I got on my bicycle. The entire ride back to my house felt like an endorphin high, unlike anything else I'd ever experienced before. But there came a time when it, like, that wasn't enough anymore. I was just like a common thief. And uh, yeah, so it did not feel good. And at some point he says, you know, I'm gonna need to see, you know, what's in your bag. I was like, you're not going to like what you find in my bag. I could hear helicopters uh, going up and down the creek. I could hear the, uh, you could obviously hear the police. And they had brought out the police dogs. And the police dog was so close, I could hear the jingle of their dog tags. It turned from like a cool secret thing just for me to it's like a shameful thing for my parents to have to endure. When you read a victim impact statement from a bank teller who was, so I read like literally terrified and afraid for her life, I, I felt so low. Going to prison for nine years saved my life. But like Barry and I were looking back at the pictures from over 20 years ago and I kind of recognize who that is, but I can see a spirit reflected in that photo that I no longer associate with. Maybe no one else can see it, but I can see it. I don't know what is wrong with that guy, but I, I'm glad that he's better now.